guys, I'm playing Project Cars. I'm going to show you the Grand Shellum Trophy. Now, this appear apparently, uh, by all reports, doesn't really work in career. So, doing a quick race weekend here on Solo uh, seems to be the way that you need to do this. Now, it doesn't matter which track you use. I'm using Caldwell Woodland just because it's a short 0.7 mile uh, track. It doesn't really matter which car you're using. I'm probably not using the best car for this track. But I figure the CTR3 will be fun nonetheless. Now, the important thing is the setup. You need to make sure you have qualifying set to on. Uh, number of opponents, number of laps, I set to one to make it easy as well as opponent skill beginner. So again, make sure you have the qualifying on. Uh, rolling start, I have uh, as no. Uh, you can do it as a yes, but sometimes even when you do a rolling start, the very beginning of the race, uh, you, for just a second, you'll be in second place and that'll negate the trophy. Now, first thing is you need to qualify. You need to get the pole position and you get that by uh, having the best lap time in qualifying. Qualifying, is uh, I have a set to five minutes, so you just keep racing around and keep setting the best lap time you can. So once you uh, get a time that you're happy with, if me, I'm here at almost 45 seconds. At this point, I'm just going to retire to the pit box. Since I set the opponent's skill to beginner, it's going to be more than enough. After that, I'm going to just simulate to the remainder of session and then, then uh, skip to the end. And this will take me into the race. Now, I'm going to start off in pole position. Now, here's the key. A lot of people can lose it here. At the very start of the race, uh, if the uh, opponent is in first place, even for a split second off this line, uh, you're going to have to restart. So, as you can see here, I'm not going to uh, jump out in the first. You can see in the bottom left, position one of two. And you can see he just passes me just for a second there. So I'm going to restart the session. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I uh, get a pretty good start off the line here. Making sure that I'm in first place for the entirety of this race, including this uh, beginning here. So as you can see, my position is one of two, never goes to two. So all I need to do is win the race, and I will pop the trophy. To get the trophy, you have to qualify uh in pole position so you have to set the best lap time in qualifying you have to win the race and have the best lap time within the race which is why I set this just to one lap now the reason I don't do a rolling start is even if you get pole position sometimes uh, at the start uh, you have a better track position but they'll actually put you in second place uh, behind another car so when it, when it says go and the green you know, goes sometimes you'll actually technically start in second even though you're on a better track position can easily uh, scoot out in, uh, in front so that's why I did not do the rolling start it depends each track's a little different but at this point all I'm going to do is finish the race get the Grand Shellum trophy and uh, be happy about that I want to thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe